So you were saying you write letters to the local yeah. paper about yeah. uh, the empire. And, and if you if you just when we invaded Iraq under obviously false pretenses, first we blamed the anthrax on Iraq. Then it came out. Whoops! The anthrax came from biodefense, U.S. biodefense lab. You'd think would be the first subject, but no. But so we go into Iraq because they're going to hit us with a mushroom cloud. We've had them under our thumb for the last 20, 30 years, right? And sanctions, invasions, etc. for the last 30 years. And now they're such a threat, we got to invade them full force. Well, you, you, when you make up a lie like that, not only are you violating U.S. law, the U.N. Charter, which is U.S. law, but you're also betraying those soldiers. They didn't sign up to, to, to psychopathic invasions of foreign countries for reasons we can only guess at, had nothing to do with the defense of the United States or the interests of the United States. So you're ang you should be angry about your own soldiers. But what about all the people, what you did to that country, the killing, the cruelty, the opposite of Christianity, and they called themselves Christians. That's a good point. They call themselves what do you say to people like that who shout to you to get a life? I understand that they've been taught from birth into the fantasy. They've been taught that the slavers and genociders were moral nobility. They taught that Jefferson was moral nobility because he wrote pretty words when he owned 600 slaves. But how do you deal with it? How do I deal with it? It rolls right off my back because I'm happy with what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Maybe Look, I'll see myself on YouTube. You will. Peace news now. I wish I had a pen. When I was filming over there, I saw that someone was uh, getting up in your personal space. You all right? Sure, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for coming over to my assistance there. Yeah, I started filming from a different angle so that I could uh, capture what was going on. Beg your pardon? Am I getting into someone's personal space right now? You thought I was getting into someone's personal space when they approached the this line here and then went like this with a camera? Did I reach for him with a camera? I did not reach for him with a camera. You never saw that because it didn't have respect for each other. I think it's okay to engage in peaceful dialogue. Like it's always it's not peaceful. What's not peaceful about addressing someone? By getting in each other's face. I didn't get in anyone's face. I don't know what you mean by that. I've just been standing here holding the camera. Sorry. Hello. We were pointing cameras at each other. That is not the same as sticking a camera in someone's face. By reaching with the camera. No, it's not semantics. This is physics. My arm did not extend. His arm extended. He reached for me. I did not reach for him. Do you understand the difference? <laughs> oh, wow. I appreciate your concern to be a split. So it's pretty cool that the, of the two groups that appear to be out here today, uh, they're both centered around the idea of peace. Or I guess three groups are here. There's Stop Free Keen, there's the veterans, and then there's some Free Keen bloggers and chalkers. And look who's over here. What a small town this is. So you can see the, the parking enforcer, Jane, is, is over there across the street. Looks like it's an opportunity for some Robin Hooding. And look, a cool car.
I have no idea what that is, but... Anyway, I also noticed, this is very interesting, that some of the people who are participating in... Well, I guess participating in is... A, I'm using that word loosely because they're not really doing much, they're standing around. But some people have shirts on that say, please do not film me without my consent. Which, to which I would say, uh, you know, just don't go out in public. Easy solution. How could you prevent someone from doing that? And then the uh, the shirts have an MCC on them, a branding. So, you know, why why would you brand something uh, that you didn't want to be seen? I, w I would I would be curious about that. It's interesting. And then there's this discussion over here, which seems to be centered around. Um, the issue of violence and personal space. Here's one of the uh, war protesters. And then just like regular families chilling in the park, you know, like uh, regular people. It's not all political stuff. It's very interesting to me. So, I want to get a clear shot at the front of these shirts, the part that says, uh, please don't film me without my consent. I'll get it soon. <laughs> 